so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. <laughs> Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbo. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Big ground and pound. He's setting up the submission attempt. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. He gets in a single collar tackle. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Hammer fist here by Nurmago Meta. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out there. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the scat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, nice. Nice right here. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Romando Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Two minutes to go. Sidekick is true. He's got the single collar tie. Short uppercut in the clinch by Nervago Medov. Well, you gotta think. Oh, no. oh, lands a hip toss now. Nervago Medov's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. All right, working out of side control. Nervago Medov's looking for a Darce choke here. That Darce is tight. Submission defense. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finisher. In MMA today, guys are so well rounded so gifted. It's hard to just lock up the submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Off of his punches. All 
right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's, and now he's attempted to choke. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Round two next. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready, taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. All right, round two. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really, every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got it on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you got to change. Oh, there's that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward. Oh, he's got a choke. That Darce choke is tight. Submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Side control now. That was a slick transition. This is a terrible position. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Nice punch to the head. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Marmanko Madoff's in half guard now. That was nice. All right, setting up for an arm bar now. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Now he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. 
He's got to be careful here. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank. Oh. Oh. About the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, yes, now we're going. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Khabib's in half goal. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Ooh, this could be it, that thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Okay, he's got it, that's it. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Look like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nurmagomedov. Oh! Hurt bad. Lands a good combination. Beautiful take out right there. He passes the half guard. Striking from every position. Lands a strike from the bottom. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful. Good jab there by the champion. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just over three minutes to go. Overhand punch to the head. Dig and kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he could do it. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Big knee to the body. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. 
Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground call. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Nermago Meta. Another takedown lead. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands and finish his body. Oh, submission oh, defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that finish. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Final seconds. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive Ready, wrestling pace Ready. over 15 or 25 minutes. Ready. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Nice body shot. There's another one. Marco Medov gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Switch he lands the body. Once again, employing the knee. Single leg takedown is good. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up at the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. Wow. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Go Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All 
Uh, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. I need you to be active on the ground now. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments, and they both showed true skill on the ground. Needs a jab there. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love takedowns. Come on, do something different. Press punch. Okay. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Under two minutes to go in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and fired up a video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He's got to start going down. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight. Try to finish the stick. Oh, he got out. Back to his feet. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Shoot Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a up. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ron and Paul here are if they're going to go to submission. Huh. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Push kick there to the body. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. He passed the half guard. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Hey, Khabib's back in half guard. 
and look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. I'll see. I'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can push me up with your word. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first place? How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. You've got... Nermago Manov's going for an arm here. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Connected with a solid punch right there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield, try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. He's back in the clinch. How does he proceed from here? Heavy kick late from the champ. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy. And there is the final oh, oh, oh. horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official decision is in. Bruce After Buffer has five it. rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Habib the Eagle Nirmago Meta. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nirmago Medov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the line.